on June 24th, 2021, I planted this demijohn to test how sustaining a terrarium could be. Once that cork went in, I said I wouldn't take it out for any reason. For me, airflow is a key aspect of terrarium health and I feel the term self-sustaining ecosystem is misleading, especially for beginners. I wanted to put my claims to the test in this video series, so here is a 12 week update. For the best plant and terrarium advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be the first to know when I upload a new video every Thursday. First, I'll give you a brief recap on how I made the terrarium. This terrarium has a drainage layer, a mesh layer, a charcoal layer, a substrate layer, a layer of orchid bark and leaf litter, and finally the plants. The plants I used are Nephrolepis exaltata marissa, Ficus thunbergii or the oak leaf ficus, Begonia schulzi, and Peperomia rotundifolia. I also added a colony of springtails to the jar to help create a bioactive environment. The terrarium sits under this warm white light where it gets on average three to four hundred foot candles of light per day. I rotate the terrarium so all sides get as even amount of light as possible. Here's how it looked the day it was planted. Here it is today. Let's take a closer look inside. The terrarium as a whole is in great health and as you can see the Nephrolepis fern has totally taken over which is actually a little surprising to me as I've not seen this fern grow so large in such a short space of time. This is probably due to the warm weather and good quality light it's receiving. In the long run this will be a problem for the ficus as it's a creeping plant that has nowhere to climb up in this terrarium. I can already see the leaves are starting to yellow and this is almost certainly due to a lack of light. Thankfully there seems to be a little pocket here that the fern hasn't blocked out so fingers crossed the ficus can hold that fort. The begonia and peperomia are holding their own because they're able to climb above the leaves of the fern to access the light. These are two of the most reliable plants I use and there is never any doubt about their success in a terrarium. Check out these roots. They're above the soil level, and as this is always sealed, I estimate the humidity levels are permanently upwards of 95%. Interestingly, the layer of leaf litter I added, which was quite substantial, has pretty much been consumed by the springtails. This is turned into droppings, which will help feed the plants. As I won't be able to open the jar to feed them, the fallen older leaves, rotting roots and bark will hopefully sustain them in the future. I think they're key to the long-term success of this terrarium, and if they're wiped out, I imagine the terrarium itself won't be too far behind it. So one of the reasons why this terrarium has been successful is because of the good quality soil that's gone in there. It consisted of activated charcoal, coir, vermicast, lava rock and akadama. So it's nice and airy. Had I used a cheap standard soil or compost, then I've no doubt that it would have become anaerobic very quickly and the roots would have suffered and died and the plants would have shortly followed. In my original hypothesis, I didn't think that the terrarium would do so well in the three months that it's been planted. I estimated that in the long run, I thought the terrarium would fail because being totally sealed up, that can create an anaerobic environment that can help breed bad bacteria. So far that hasn't happened, but it has only been three months. My hypothesis going forward, so not much has really changed from my original hypothesis. I still think that eventually this terrarium will fail and whether that takes six, 12, 18 months, I do think it will eventually happen. I'll place this terrarium back in its home and I'll do a follow-up video in a few months time. If you want to watch part one, then click the link in the top right hand corner of this video. And if you'd like to discuss this or any other topic further, then feel free to email me or DM me on social media. I'd also like to personally invite you to join my beginner friendly Facebook discussion group. It's called Terrarium Group and all the links are in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.